Okay, this is Jim again. Hi, and how's everybody? As you have seen, that um, I've just completed the Canning Stock Group, and uh, I took a Hilux for the first time ever into the desert. I've normally taken Land Cruisers, and uh, there are a few things that um, I would suggest that anybody does to their vehicle before they go out in the desert with a Hilux. First thing is, I would suggest that you put a two-inch lift suspension underneath it. Don't go stupid and put this four inch stuff in, you only cause other problems, but two inches is pretty good. And uh, when you go out and buy your, your underbody protection, have a very serious look at it. This is the stuff that I had underneath mine, which is a commercially made one. And uh, quite frankly, it's that thin that it's not funny. There's no, no thickness at all in this. And if this, this doesn't even protect the underside of the car, from dust, let alone rocks and everything else. As you can see, by the time I'd finished doing all the sand dunes here, the, the metal had actually worn away, had bent up and worn away. So, when you put these guards, and this is the other part of the guard, when you get these guards from the so-called manufacturers that are great experts in four-wheel drive shops, have a look at the material they're using. Yes, stainless steel is three times the weight and five times the strength of mild steel. But if stainless steel is only down around one millimetre, one and a half mil, 1.2, something like that, it's of little of any value. You might as well put a plain beer can underneath there to protect it because it's about all it's going to be good for. If you hit a rock, this is what's going to happen. And as you can see with this one, I've, I actually wore through on that side as well. Um, what I'm doing now, as I'm working on the vehicle slowly, I'll hammer these back into shape, I will copy these, and I'll build my own guards. And I'll build my own guards up out of about two and a half mil, maybe three millimetre plate. And uh, when I finish breaking them up, I'll weld them and so forth, and then I'll weld reinforcement ribs in them. Because this one here that sits underneath the front of the vehicle, um, it quite frankly doesn't protect anything. And uh, I will weld reinforcement ribs in them when I do them and uh, that'll make them a lot stronger. So that's why you haven't seen me on the road much lately because I'm still rebuilding the uh, Hilux but by the time I'm finished I'll be right. I just went out this morning and yesterday and purchased myself a hot water system where you can actually have one of these showers, portable hot water shower gas heater thing. and. Uh, after being on the road for two and a half months for the last trip, 14,500 kilometres, I was very, very disappointed in the fact that uh, you used to be able to pull into most roadside stops and a lot of service stations, and you could always have a shower. Uh, I found on this trip it very difficult to get into any of these roadside stops because most of the cancels have taken the taps off. I would suggest that's the greed of the local caravan parks forcing us into the caravan parks to pay to camp the night. Uh, which is not going to happen with me. I paid $20 for accommodation on my last two and a half month trip. <laughs> and that was only to a volunteer group in South Australia. The Faruna bloody uh, count, old town site, beautiful site to go in. They've got showers in there and it's five bucks a head a night, which I reckon is a fair amount to pay. But apart from that, I won't pay. It's just ridiculous. I don't want to buy the ground or lease the ground for a hundred years. I only want to put my swag down, have a sleep and get moving again in the morning and I reckon 25 to 30 bucks for a shower, right? <laughs> I think it's ridiculous, absolutely bloody ridiculous, and uh, I, I won't pay it. So, have a look guys, when I finish making these new parts up, I'll put a YouTube video up on them, and uh, you'll be able to see exactly what I've made up for the Hilux. Uh, I won't be making up uh, uh, this toy stuff. I'll make something decent up. I haven't worked it out yet, but three and four hundred dollars, for sheet metal like that is a bloody joke and the greed has just got too too much for these dealers and these um, four wheel drive shops way way over the top I use solar panel regulators and a set of relay systems off the ignition to charge my batteries I don't spend four or five hundred dollars on this junk ah dear I, I, I don't know I, I look at this modern day and it's let's go buy a new one let's go buy a new one let's go buy a new one and you get back to that piece of string, don't you? How long's a bit of string? And how much money you got? This is um, Jim uh, talking to you from home, and uh, I'll be back on the road again next year. 
and uh, I don't know which trip we're going to do, but we will be doing either the gun barrel, or the Connie Sue, or I might even shoot up into the Simpson. If you want to know more, email me, and uh, you might be able to tag along. This is Jim Sonny out.